Hello Fly Tires, welcome to another episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk. Today I am going to tie an ice fly jig when everything is frozen and I can't fly fish. One of my last resorts is to ice fish. Trevor went the other day and they didn't catch very many but they did catch a few. They went up to Strawberry Reservoir in Utah. So for ice flies, I like to use these little um, little jigs. This is, I want to say it's a 332nd, or sorry, 132nd jig head. And then what I like to do is I like to put some little um, living eyes on it. And then I just put some uh, UV glue and coat it so the eyes stick really good. You can see that I've just coated that jig head in UV glue with the two eyes. You don't have to do that. I just think it adds a little extra. I like my jigs um, with eyes. Sorry, I'm getting that focus a little better. <coughs> okay, where we ice fish, the fish tend to key in on white, pink, and chartreuse. That's kind of the go-to colors. So um, with ice flies, you want to put plenty of flash on it. So what I'm going to do is just get some of this crystal flash. And this is just a kind of a sparkling clear color. I actually think they call it um, just clear on the crystal flash. So I put quite a big chunk of that on first. And then what I'm going to do is get some white marabou, like that. And I'm going to put that on. Just grab a good chunk of it. Get about the right measurement. I'm pretty liberal with how much I'm using because I want to build up my body anyway. This marabou is really good for that. So you can see we got a nice puffy tail. So as that's working in that dark water, fish are going to see that a lot. Lots of movement. And then what I like to do is put a few more strands of crystal flash over the top of the marabou as well. Like so. So you can see we've got a lot of flash. It's gonna have a lot of movement. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna use this, it's called Crystal Braid. And this is in pink. Just kind of lay that on the side. Everything sinks down nice. And this is just kind of like a synthetic chenille. You just wrap it end over end so it kind of creates its own little rib. So now we've got it to that point. So that looks just like a standard jig. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some rubber legs on it. This is just kind of a, it's kind of a clear white color. And what I do is I tie them in one on one side and one on the other, just kind of like a grasshopper fly. Once I get that, I will do 
do my whip finish and then we'll do some trimming. I'll typically pull my legs back. Just put a nice little finish on that. Cut them so they're even. Nice thing about these legs is you can even move them around a little bit until you get about how you like them. Those are a little bit long. Cut that down. So I usually cut my front legs shorter, leave my back legs long. And that'll just give a little bit more movement. The whole thing with ice fishing is you're looking for that, that trigger. And so the more that fly is moving in the water, the more it's going to entice a strike. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get it to hold together like a rock. The last thing you want to be doing when you're ice fishing is tying on a bunch of flies so I like to get some UV glue I'm running across the top let that cure Then we'll run a little bit more across the bottom. And that'll hold my body material nice, hold those legs in. Also gives the fly a really cool look, a lot more buggy. Okay, and that my friends, whoops, we are not focused really well today. This is what we call the Tea Money Ice Fly. It's one that Trevor likes to use at Strawberry Reservoir. And you usually have to tip them with a little mealworm. I know that sounds like cheating, but uh, in all actuality, sometimes ice fishing is cheating. But it's a good, good fly to use when you're fishing with kids. You don't jig it real hard, you just jig it really soft up and down. Really short, quick movements. Um, that, that tail looks really nice in the water. These rubber legs do the same. So thank you for watching this episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk with our ice fishing fly. And we hope you enjoy watching today. Mm -hmm.